Well, Stallions, it is official. Windows 11 will be launching on October 15th, and it will be a free upgrade for all Windows 10 users. I assume that maybe it was going to be a free upgrade for Windows 10 Pro users, and us home users, we're going to have our cheese left out in the wind, but indeed our Swiss uh, is getting serviced as well, and you will be able to upgrade. However, how Windows is rolling out this upgrade is kind of weird. They're doing it piecemeal, except for pre-built PCs and what they like to call all eligible devices, but they don't break down what an eligible device is. Microsoft has announced the official Windows 11 release date. It's right there in the title. I already covered it. October 5th. It is a free upgrade. Like I mentioned, a upgrade, quote unquote, every single Windows operating system has gone back and forth between good, bad, good, bad. I mean, it's, it's really gone back and forth. And for gamers, Windows 10 has been very good to us. Honestly, everything is very well optimized. And at this point in time, considering all launchers, so Steam, Epic's Games Launcher, Activision Blizzard, etc., have all kind of been fine-tuned to work with Windows 10. Another Windows, even though it is basically a facelift of 10, it's probably going to have slight, slightly degraded performance. What do I base that on? Linus and Jay's Two Cents made some videos testing this out, and indeed they were seeing roughly a 3 to 15% decrease in average frames per second on Windows 11. So that's unfortunate, but that's temporary. I'm sure Windows will bump those rookie numbers up. It's not going to be an instant upgrade. Windows is phasing rollout, which means all eligible devices will get the upgrade by mid 2022. So starting October 5th and stretching all the way until mid 2022. Interesting. And October 5th is also the date if you buy a new pre-built PC. So an Alienware, a CyberPower, an iBuyPower that comes with a operating system already installed you will automatically have Windows 11 on there. And to my knowledge, you can't backgrade or ungrade or degrade or detune to Windows 10. The main point for PC gamers, that's us, is Microsoft's assertion that Windows 11 delivers quote unquote, the best Windows ever for gaming. They have literally said that exact combination of words on the last three generations of Windows operating systems. As far as general productivity has a different user interface and it's more, I would say, Honestly, it's more Apple iOS like with a lot of its icons and menus and whatnot. But the only real gamer differences would be auto HDR, high dynamic range, which, by the way, from the testing of Linus Tech Tips and other channels actually works really good. What it does is if your monitor and the game supports it, it'll automatically turn it on for you if you have it turned on. They did a side by side split test and it actually looks really, really good. Also, more importantly than just engaging high dynamic range in games that support it, really content that is not HDR, so SDR or standard dynamic range, instead of blowing out or washing out those images to where they look inherently very, very bad, worse than they would naturally if you had HDR turned off, you can just leave it turned on and that way it'll automatically detect, hey, the content that you're looking at, the web page you're staring at or whatever, or the YouTube video you're watching isn't HDR. Let's go ahead and turn that off automatically. That's kind of nice. Uh, direct storage, which we'll cover that in a future video, and heavy integration of Game Pass. Makes sense. There is one other important thing for us PC gamers, which Microsoft doesn't actually make any reference to in its latest posts. And that's the fact that Windows 11 will make the most of Intel's hybrid Alder Lake generation of CPUs launching later this year. So as that is a new piece of hardware that is coming out after the launch of Windows 11, it'll automatically be optimized or fine-tuned to work the best on Windows 11, supposedly. We'll have to see that again when we get some benchmark tests from some of the channels like Linus Tech Tips, Jay's Two Cents, Gamers, Nex Gamers Nexus. So will I be installing Windows 11? Yes, but not on this PC. I do have a separate desktop. It's a gaming PC. It's not as high-end as what I'm on right now, but it is decent. That's what she said, it's decent. And it will be installing Windows 11 on that as soon as it is available to me. So one thing that looks blatantly bad from Windows 11 that a lot of people are kind of, uh, I don't know, what's the word, disgusted, I guess? We'll, we'll throw that word out there. You might be feeling a little icky or queasy after the statement here. This almost seems like a new social media platform. They have this news feed, which is basically mandatory. You can't really turn it off. And it's a constantly scrolling wall of tiles of topics that they think you wanna see, which is great for them marketing the hell out of you, basically selling your information to third 
third party companies for marketing, which happens anyway, that, that, that happens. But the fact that it's now in a nicely organized little um, window or tile that you can constantly browse, it, it's basically like this operating system is now also a social media platform, which the people that aren't getting fingertip cramps from constantly swiping Instagram and TikTok videos all day, they probably just want to use their PC for gaming, productivity work, video editing, music production, CAD, computer aided design, making a PowerPoint so you can squeeze through college. And you don't really give a shit about constantly having a social media platform attached to your operating system. I think that's kind of whack personally, but I know there's a lot of users out there that need that constant dopamine hit of social media. So maybe this will be good for them. And also the aggressive tie-in with Xbox Game Pass, I would have to say is blatantly not welcome considering if you want Game Pass, you can just install the Xbox launcher in the Windows 10 store. And it literally, it's another game launcher, just like Steam. You can browse your Game Pass library, launch from there, voice comm, connect with your homeboys and Xbox live chat, or tell them, hey, get your ass over on Discord, whatever. As we're now, it's basically it's going to be more in your face. It's going to be baked in with the operating system. Also, speaking of baked in, it is harder to now have Microsoft Edge, which is the new Edge is a lot better than the original Microsoft Edge. But in my opinion, it's still not as good as something like Google Chrome. I think it's a one step above Firefox, but I'd, I'd still rank it under Google Chrome. Maybe I'll do a tier list on stream one day with the different browsers. Since it is Windows baby and they obviously try and make that the default for their Windows, now with 11, unlike 10, you can't just with one click switch your default browser. Now you have to for every for every single file type. So you visit a .com website, a .org website, you open a PDF document. For each different file type or destination that the PC goes to, you need to set a different default browser. That's stupid. So overall, I think at this point, I'm more just curious or I'm not really excited from most of what I've heard. I'm more um, curious and anxious to try out Windows 11. Uh, for my personal uses and also so you guys have an understanding of how it performs for gaming and video editing and general productivity just using it as well a personal computer that is going to do it stallions and stallionettes trot on down to the stable down there below the old comment section and drop your opinion of windows 11 will you be upgrading or are you holding out if you like this video there's an actual button for that it's a little thumbs up the thumb isn't going anywhere weird up any orifices or anything it just lets the google al algorithm know hey this is a quality video go ahead and get it seen by other people subscribe for more content like this i cover news in the gaming community and industry as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and youtubing and i will see you tomorrow because i upload daily